and gentlemen, welcome to Thermopylae Team Combat! Today, we will witness a truly historic event in the world of martial arts. Today is the second Thermopylae Team Combat Tournament. Eight teams will participate in this tournament. The weight categories will be up to 90 kilograms. The tournament will be held in the Olympic system and the losing team will be eliminated. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half guns You are not as tough as me Team School Abdulmanap Nuramagomedov. 
fight to one, Ali Aliyev. Fighter two, Shippledin Shikshayev. Fighter three, Omas Khab Magomedov. And your final fighter, Islam Chizano. And now welcome your fighters. Team Uksha. Fighter one, Nikita Nikolaev. Fighter two, Abaya Celebi Yakub Ali Akerov. Fighter three, Grigori Drozadov. And your final fighter, Ilya Shenov. Team Feather. Okay, gentlemen, you know rules. Listen my comments every time. Protect yourself all time, okay? Dash gloves. Well, we did this way back in 2018, Ian. Yeah, well, it was one of the most exciting events I've ever done, Ian. And this again. Oh, the referee nearly took a fall. Well, that's the difference with this long, thin ring. So the smaller fighter from Uchka is really taking it to his opponent here. But that is a big size difference, Ian. Yeah, the guy from uh, Uchka, the smaller guy, swinging a little bit. Obviously putting him in first, wear down the opponents. Now the whole idea of this, not allowing to pull down a knee to the head, but the whole idea of this competition, Ian, for those that don't know, the first man can actually stop in for the full four fighters of his opposite team, as long as he doesn't get knocked out, knocked down, or injured. Yeah, we saw last time out, it was a, a fighter, Nikolai Nikitenko, who was the last man standing, took out three guys when he had no team left. Here at the moment, Aliyev of the Magomedov team. Magomedov team, the knees that he's throwing are absolutely fantastic. There we go again, nice high kick. Oh, that rocks him. He was actually throwing that kick high early on for his opponent being so short. The way that... Ushka team is ducking their head. He needs to be very, very careful indeed. There again, Aliyev backing him up. Oh, oh question solid. mark. He goes down. Beautiful question mark kick to the head. The referee has the called, referee that calls over. it. No, he said he's all right. I think a fighter will always tell you they're all right, Ian, but I don't think he was. So he will be replaced by the number two on his team, Abkairov. Abkairov standing strong. Sean Powell, that was a beautiful body kick. No, that was actually to the, uh, the groin. He's complaining about that shot. A little bit low, he said. Making life a little bit difficult for me in your way, with the colour of the shorts, very, very similar. Oh, what a beautiful high kick. But again, the fighter from Nurmagomedov's team being told off for a second time here. Oh, beautiful That work. same kick to the head. It goes low, then goes high. Again, catch the kick and goes high. Aliyev really has the intention of taking out a whole team here, Ian. Well, that is the idea. If he can stay in, so be it. He's going to be tired for the next round. But if he can stay in, he has three fighters that are now fresh. Inside, outside with that lead low kick. Again with those knees. And there's a high kick. Oh, that wobbled the fighter. That was a vicious uppercut as well before the kick. Nurmagomedov team are favourites to win this tournament, but wow, the Utskar team are actually flying through these first two fighters. 
So again, tall range Aliyev. My bad, I had the team the wrong way around there. Yeah, it's the Nura Magomedov's team. Yes, and that was a beautiful knee to the body. Oh, it looked like he'd stopped him there. He went down, got back up. Yeah, it's the colour of the shorts actually throw you a little bit. Yeah, so similar. Very similar indeed. Again, Aliyev powering in there into the corner. We're about halfway through these rounds. These rounds are five minutes long. So again, with a question mark kick, the Nurmagomedov team taking the lead right now. Well, a little bit of background on Aliyev. He's a three-time Russian Thai boxing champion, a world champion, and a World Cup champion. So a very, very experienced Muay Thai fighter. And there's a cut now above the right eye here of Ab Abkairov. Yeah, the Utkar team are backing off just a little bit now. Oh, that was a straight right hand. Still two minutes left in this round, and Aliyev is really stepping things up now, Ian. Well, how does he play this one again? Does he take it tactfully and let it, one of his teammates come in for the next round? I think he's going to want the glory, and I think he's going to want to try and take out the whole team. That's a big ask, but oh, that knee to the liver again goes high. That switch kick that he has, the question mark kick. Switching stance to the left side now. Solid. Two good punches after that knee. Again, he's warned. They're not allowed to clinch and hold. And it must be hard for Muay Thai fighters who are used to that clinch. In a sense, I can see where the referee's coming from, but in another sense, he was actually jumping forward when he did that. Again, to the liver. Abkairov has a nice lead body kick himself. He's just not getting the shot off very often. And that would be for the Utskar team. Yes. It's going to be very difficult for us, not only as commentators, but as a fan, to remember all these names. Yeah, solid kick down and left up to the head. Blood pouring down from the eye now of Abkairov and the Utskar team. Switching stance again. Nuro Magomedov team. Nice knee to the liver. That hurt him. You could see he dropped just a little when he was knee to the right hand side where the liver is. Last 20 seconds here. He's really broken him down here from distance, hasn't he? And inside, outside, kicks to that lead leg and then coming high. And that was a nice body kick. So this will go to the judges for the first time here. Oh, spinning heel kick right on the bell. Retaliates. Showing some grit and determination is Abkhidov. That was a battle there. So the next to step in now is Grigory Drozdov, 31 years old. He's a winner of the Cup of Russian Kudo. He says he doesn't keep score of his battles, his record he does not know. So with a Kudo background, Kudo is a Japanese martial art, a Japanese mixed martial art, which involves... Oh, power! Solid shot. Oh, he's swinging for the fences. He's really took it to his opponent now, hoping Aliyev's tired. Well, not to keep count or keep score of the amount of fights that you have, that means you've had some fights. Not 10, not 20, but more into the hundreds. Well, he's a solid, solid fight here at 90 kilograms. 
90 oh, off. nice left hook. He's swinging for the fences here. Drozdov trying to get revenge for his teammates. Nuno Magomedov team, every time that Ushka throw a kick to his low leg, he steps away and counters back with the second kick of his own. As you can see with the rules here on Thermopylae team combat, no clinching, no grabbing the legs, no takedowns. It's face-to-face -face striking, non-stop action. Everything to make, make the action fast and no stalling at all. And it, that's going to make the fighters tired, especially if they're fighting two or three five-minute rounds, or maybe even four. Oh, big overhand right. I think he was hoping that hit. Yeah, he definitely pulled that right hand now. Still just two minutes in, and he looks more tired, I think, than Aliyev of the Magomedov team. He's really set a pace here as Drozdov. It's a tactic. Oh, that beautiful knee again. It's a tactic you maybe have to work out in the dressing room. Right, if I can stay on for three fighters and wear them all down, I will stay on. But where does that leave you in the later bouts? In the bouts, if you get through to the semis, the lactic get acid through to the finals, yes. How is he going to play up then? Because whether the fans know this or not, they have to come on in their individual numbers that they were picked before the fight started. You can't change your mind halfway through about. You have to come on second, third or fourth if that's what you decided before the fight started. That was a nice right hand landed there from the Uchka team. Oh, but that, was, that was the liver, that's uh, it, he's out. Uh, he landed a nice right hand himself, but at the same time, that liver shot puts him out. And this has been some performance here from Aliyev. We can see now why Namagomedov would have. Is, is this a team event, or does this guy just go, just to go through everyone by himself? I, I, it's interesting now that you can see the corner are talking to him. And I don't know whether he's to say, do you really want to do another? So, Aliyev wants to stay in. He's told his corner he wants to do one more. Just a little drink of water, and he's ready to go again. This is the fourth man, isn't it? This is the fourth he's took man. out a whole team. The Uchka team is down to their fourth and final man. This is some man here, Ali Aliyev. Oh, he's stepping out. Wow, huge round of applause. Beautiful. That man deserves a round of applause. That is some performance there. And here we go, two fresh fighters now face each other. The fourth fighter from Uchko team and the second from Nurmagomedov team. Well, the new fighter here from Nurmagomedov team is Whoa. 28 years old. And he is a multiple Dagestan and Russian champion. He fires back with a shot of his own. Warning again there because you're not allowed to hold on to the leg. How can you not love Thermopylae? It's non-stop action again, he catches the leg. These are the things that are habit in Muay Thai that you have to take out the game for Thermopylae. But I can understand that you catch it as long as you leave go, catch, leave go. Because instinct makes you catch it. If you start training yourself not to catch a kick, then that's, that's bad skill level. Yeah, definitely. And that's a solid puncher's knee to the body. So our last fight from Uchka team, Ilya Chernov, a K1 World Cup winner. He's 25 years old, he ends 20 years old for Shikshayev. Magomedov team holds that right hand just a little bit low. Left hand is up high, oh that's what he catches him with there, the left straight. But his right hand is low. Yeah, fighting out that southpaw stance, stepping in with a kick. Again, the catch of the foot. 
It does keep the action going here. We're only a minute and a half into this round here, and it's been non-stop. Oh, power in those shots. Every single shot thrown with mean intentions here. He's looking for that straight left from the southpaw stance. He likes to step in with the, the left of the backhand or that kick. Another warning again for holding, and you can see the little, little bit of frustration. Yeah, frustration. Because he's not intentionally holding. As soon as he catches, he is letting go. New sport, new rules. People have to get used to it, I suppose. Again, but there's a lot on the shoulders of this man, though, from the Utrecht team. He has to defeat all fighters now. Uh, and can he keep his full team in? You know, these guys have lost on his team. They've, they, they've took some hard shots. And if he wins this, they have to come back in again. They've got to get their head mentally right. Pointy duck did from the Muramagev team for holding. Oh, body shot. I mean, oh, he wants to win. He wants to finish now. He's got a real mountain to climb as journal because if he beats the supporter, oh, he hit him on the floor. He was on the floor. Yuchka fighter was on his knees when he was hit. He's saying he slipped as well, so they're just going to refer to the judges. And they're going to let this fight continue. It's another chance here for Ilya Chernov of Ushka team. And he's going for it, Ian. Yeah, he's, he's, he's head hunting now, Ian. Oh, that body kick. Beautiful kick to the body. Straight away, Shikshayev back. As soon as Chernov lands anything, Shikhaev straight back on him. Looking for that lead kick. Shikhaev looks tired now. Again, that left hand over the top, throwing the punches in close. Swinging. Solid knees to the body. That's better action. That was the punches there against the knees to the body. I believe the clinch work or the clinch idea has gone out the window. Everyone's clinching now. Well, Ilya Chernov of Wushka team has thrown some knees that look suspectly low and I think that's what the corner over there was shouting to the referee. But fair play to Shikshaev because he's just carried on fighting, he's not complained himself. Oh, nice overhand. Not long left now, the last 10 seconds. And has Ilya Chernov managed to keep his team in the competition? That was a tight one, I think, Ian. It's going to be difficult here. They're going to have to decide. Oh, no, they've already decided. The referee's already pointed to Uchka team. Uchka team have won. That's nice. So... We're down to two men against one. Can Ilya Chernov take out another man? Can he do the impossible and take out all three men? Wow. That would be some start to this competition, Ian. So, number three, Magomedov from the, the Magomedov. Hello, everybody. I'm Daniel Levinsky, president of Termopoli Team Combat. If you enjoy what you see and want to help us extend this exciting new sport, 
join our YouTube channel. By becoming a member today, you will gain exclusive access to the entire second championship of Thermopylae Team Combat. For more details, stay tuned after this video. Thank you for your support. So, number three, Magomedov from the, the Magomedov team. 84 kilograms, kickboxing world champion and two times champion of Russian kickboxing. Comes out with that typical boxing, kickboxing Russian stance. Yeah, chin a little high. Dagestan stance, I should say, more than Russia. He's diving in there, trying to... Oh! Spinning heel kick to the midsection. Looking to impress here, Ian. Chernoff staying calm. Uchka just looking a little bit tired now. This is a fast start here for Magomedov. But is it the right tactics in a five minute round when you've got so many fights to come, to come out oh, blazing? Strong shots. Little short hoops they are. That real tie boxing stance there, the hands out, switching. Chernov of Ushka team definitely tired here, and he's backed off. He's waiting for Magomedov to come in at him. Oh, that was heavy. That went through the guard. Chernov coming forward now, but he's not throwing Ian. He's tired. I think he's trying to make every shot count. Comes out with that typically. <laughs> Got the gas tank left. Look, he steps back, he takes a deep breath, he's got a cut he looked above up, his left tried, eye. The, for those that don't realise, there's actually big TV screens above us. He looked up to see if he could see the time. His corner men should be shouting the time, to be honest. Nice left hook though, landed by Chernoff. That was a swing and a prayer, if we've got to be honest. Yeah, it was. I think that's a good description, Herrian. But fair play to Chernoff. You know, his team were getting knocked out one, two, three. He was the last man, and he's really done it for his team. He stepped in. Yeah, he's going to go out on his shield, that's for sure. Under a minute now to go, Ian. Yeah, he's definitely behind on points in this, but it'd be nice for him to finish on his feet. He toughed it out. A real gritty fighter here for Team Ushka. <laughs> for 
Throwing the knee to the body again. Referee trying to stop the clinch. Let them fight on. Oh, jumping knee, just missing the head. They're allowing him to fight on. The clinching is becoming a little bit more allowed. Down to the final 10 seconds. Swinging for the hills here. Spinning back kick. Chernoff giving it his all. But I think. And there we have it. Now, if this gets awarded to the Uchka team, there could be another round. If it gets awarded to the Nurmagomedov team, the fight is over. So there you go. The first team winners are the Nurmagomedov team. They knock out Uchka team. Great performance from Ilya Chernov, Uchka team but just not enough. And the favourites are through to the next round. gentlemen, your winner of Thermopylae Team Combat by unanimous decision, Nur Magomedov! I'm taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song Here's we see the replay of these two teams and The Magomedov team came in as the favorites And the tall ranger, Aliyev Taking out a whole team Left high kick then in the next round, he set things up, he just broke down his opponent, split the eye. And then this tough match was ended with a knee to the body against a man who can't count his fights. And the Magomedov team chose then to swap the fighters over. And we had a great comeback from Chernov as he fought for Utska team and managed to win on points. However, things are too much as the next fighter stepped in and I'm in a Magomedov team. Took the fight all the way through to the final bell and a points win. Through to the next round, the, the Magomedov team. Greetings everyone, you've just enjoyed first quarter final of second championship of Thermopylae team combat. Allow me to demonstrate what makes this new sport future so incredible. Let's look what people are saying. This is better than UFC, ha ha ha. This fight concept is incredibly entertaining, makes UFC look boring, very hard on fighters though. These guys are incredible. This is way better than UFC. This is great, better than UFC, where half of the fighters just want to wrestle, humping your legs for 15 minutes, not wanting to actually fight, because they are not mixed martial artists and can only wrestle. Best combat sport I have watched, take this over UFC all day. UFC what? Where has this sport been? This is awesome. Goodbye, UFC 
Delator, 1C, etc. Hello, whatever this is. Diamonds are great, but the most vital aspect of predicting the future of this exciting new sport is not words, but numbers, statistics. Let me show you something unbelievable. Our channel has reached almost 28 million views. Now let's see how far our content has spread worldwide by checking out our channel geography. Clearly, people from all around the world are enjoying it. Now, big question is, how many viewers really like it? Is it 20%, 30%, maybe 40%? Let's examine the percentage of likes versus dislikes. Brace yourself for the astonishing truth. 91.9% with Russia, 96.2%, Kazakhstan, 952 Ukraine 96.6, United States 96, Germany 99, Uzbekistan 100. And here's the real shocker. Uzbekistan at perfect 100 with almost 1 million views. Finding a country with a flawless 100 approval rating where not one person has hit the dislike button. It's like finding a unicorn. Almost impossible. You think there would be at least one person who doesn't quite connect with our content. But Indonesia 100, Philippines 100, Vietnam 100, France, Spain, India, Brazil, Australia, Turkey, Italy, Netherlands, Mexico, South Korea, Malaysia, Myanmar, Argentina, Greece. Cambodia, Sweden, Azerbaijan, Belgium, Georgia, New Zealand, Morocco, Lithuania, Austria, Romania, Bulgaria, Ireland, Hungary, were discovered an astonishing 31 countries with a flawless 100% approval rate. Simply unbelievable, right? Not yet. Let's focus on our primary market, the United States. We'll examine the statistics state by state. <laughs> California 100, Texas 100, Florida 100, New York, Illinois, Washington, Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina, Michigan, Indiana, From New York to Florida to California, you'll be amazed to see unanimous 100% approval rate across the entire United States. It's a spectacle so mind-boggling that it's truly hard to believe. This certainly answered the question about the kind of future that awaits for this new sport. Amazingly, this statistic extends far beyond our channel. In fact, YouTube copyright tool has identified a staggering 111 different times our video has been taken without our knowledge and featured on other YouTube channels. For example, one of these channels has accumulated over 10 million views and received more than 122,000 likes on the single video showcasing our third quarter final of Thermopylae Team Combat. After seeing these statistics, we are confident that this is the only matter of time before this exciting new sport will become a household name. And for this, we need your help. And trust me, it's just the beginning.
you haven't seen anything yet because our upcoming plan involves hosting the first ever world championship of Thermopylae team combat featuring eight teams from eight different countries and once we have enough of your support our vision for the ideal Thermopylae team combat season would include eight preliminary world championships one every month with winning team from each championship advancing to the final season ending championship of the champions so how can you help us achieve this ambitious plans and turn them into reality join our youtube channel for only 4.99 you can enjoy the entire second championship of Thermopylae team combat and you can cancel any time or you can stay a member and choose to help us expand this exciting new sport and unlike the traditional crowdfunding we have a special way of showing appreciation to our supporters by granting them access to all our future upcoming world championships additionally we partnered with pay-per-view but here's the promise regardless of the pay-per-view price we will always live stream all our upcoming world championship exclusively to our youtube channel members so don't keep this excitement to yourself share it with your friends share with them our new championship if they haven't had the chance to see it you gotta blow their mind thank you we deeply appreciate your support and this message comes from me and my business partner and my best friend nikolai kudrishov thank you Party. we're just getting started a life is a dream or a nightmare starring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a shrink who can catch me when i'm falling cover up my scars flip the handlebars crashing in my car we're